Hey there, my name is Anup and today we are going to learn how to create a simple product in a WooCommerce store. So if you don't know types of products, you can simply watch this video and know more about it. So for creating simple products, let's get started. So you have to open your admin panel like I am on it. Then you have to simply navigate to product and add new. Once you click on add new, you will be asked for product name. I have taken example of the product so you can easily relate with the Flipkart and get more understanding about it. So we are going to add this simple product into our website. So first of all, it asking the name. I am writing the name. Then I am placing the name. Then I need some description that's totally optional. In some products you don't get some kind of description or you can write something just for example I am writing a dummy text it's good for your SEO if you add and you add some relatable keywords you can edit your URL from here then the next option which is more important is your category so I'm putting in this the ice trail category and if there is some brand you can tag with that or you can add some new categories accordingly like there is no random brand and there is a something let's say you just want in sunglasses then you can simply place sunglasses under the eye style and you can add new so you will see in the sunglasses there is an option eye styles and the sunglasses then what you can do you can place a price of regular price and if you see this the regular price is 1266 rupees so you can simply place that price and you don't need to add some formatting so just place the normal pricing then the second is sale price is 340 and if you want to keep this sale price for a regular interval of time you can schedule that price like from today to up to end of this month this price should be then you have to simply publish your product once you have published your product you can view it by simply right click and view in open tab so here you are getting your product name the sale price oh, sorry this is sale price and this is a regular price and the categories we have created one category of sunglasses one category of eye style if user will click on this user can get or navigate to other product related to the same category and then we are getting our description over here it depends theme to theme like how they are representing your things and this is the 73% off that we are getting here and that we are getting it might be you don't get some off tag somewhere some some theme has here or some theme has here so it's depend on the layout what layout you have selected now let's upload this image so first of all we need to download so let's download it's a save image then we are writing is sunglass image one then let's save this sunglass image two then save this sunglass image three oh sorry three so I just saved three images let's save these two also sunglass image 4 okay now we have to go here you will get two sections one is the product image second one is the product gallery now if you go on the sunglasses there is one image which will be over here it's your featured image 
so you will click here and you will upload these four images so let me move on sunglasses I will upload all the images here once you upload it you can select easily any featured image that represent your product perfectly so this image represents our product perfectly so I am just selecting this then you have to select your product gallery so let's first see this what is the effect of this particular image I just clicked on update the product has been updated then you have to go on your website and then you have to reload your page so I'm getting my image over here then I can click on view product once I'll click on the view product I'm getting my featured image here and I can scroll on this now there is no any extra images like of oh, like I, we are get, we were getting over on the Flipkart so for this we are going to use the product gallery feature now we'll click on the add gallery and we will select other images too these images we're going to select then we'll click on the add gallery now what we'll see I have organized order one two three four and by default the first image was here now you will see what will happen the first is the packing second is the our featured image third is this and fourth is this let's update this once our update has been done successfully we can refresh the page again now see the featured image coming by default at the top then other images will come right this is for uh, like it's also depend theme to theme because user has seen this particular image in your listing let's suppose user is getting this image in the description or in the listing and user click on this and user get some else something else like this image so user might confuse so most theme developers like us automatically placed that that particular image on this but in some themes you will get whatever the ordering feature or ordering list you will place on this so we can remove this because it's getting duplicate and now we can simply update this image and once you refresh this this duplicate will be removed now it has been removed and you can by clicking on this you can rotate the image slider now you want to write something like a kind of short description some kind of offers you are running on this or something like that so you can write a short description here so there's an option of short description which we can use this is the product short description so I'm writing here this is product short description get 10% of like uh, we have we are running this particular discount get to 73% off before placing order at 31st April oh it's May May 2020 or something like that you can place let me update this and then we'll see what's the effect of this particular we'll refresh this and we are getting here so I already told you uh, it's depend on totally depends on your theme which theme has been activated and where uh, your developer has placed this short description maybe uh, they can place under the cart add to cart or above the product and anywhere it depends on the layout but the perfect location is the under the title because we user read the title user read the little bit description the catchy description and the price should be there and add to cart and the quantity button should be there 
now the secondary next thing uh, we are going to cover is how to manage the inventory that we are going to cover in the next video so thanks for now see you in the next video